Join me on my adventure to find the perfect place to start my dive shop. Just woke it up to the weirdest sound. It's like a combination. Such a weird sound. It's like a combination of a chicken or a dog or... It's like the hand of the busker. We don't know what it is. We think it might be monkeys or birds. Initially we thought it was dogs or maybe chickens. They're talking to each other from the trees. Either that or they're howling at the moon. They're big, they're monkeys. Okay, so last morning in Boca Brava, it wasn't ex at all what I expected, but morning we heard this loud noise and it was monkeys jumping around, so that was amazing. Beautiful sunset here, and they do the best pineapple pina colada with fresh pineapple. So, Boca Brava, goodbye. Our next stop is uh, heading towards the mountains near Boquete. So this is Brad or Esteban. <laughs> uh, from Hotel Boca Brava and, uh, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what it's like to run a business over here. I'm from the US, North America originally, and it's, it's as hard, maybe, I think I work harder and make less, but I live in a place like this, so it's worth it. But throw in a, a foreign language, you know, that makes it, you know, all of a sudden there's uh, communication breakdowns, like there's gray areas, and I tell somebody something, and they say, yeah, 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 you think they understand? And then I start it, and they're like, you realize, well, they didn't really understand what I said. What do you think? Do you think it's possible to set up a business and then leave it to run by itself? I wish. <laughs> I wish. Uh, if you're going to start something else in, in Panama now, where, where do you think still is sort of beautiful, but untouched that you'd, you'd look at? But there's some spots, like even the Caribbean side, the whole coast, doesn't have a road. It's undeveloped. It's, they call it the Mosquito Coast, I've seen on maps. But the government is trying to open that land up, put roads there for hotels and stuff. But sure enough, you're going to find something over there. I'd say for adventure, mm. Punta Barica. Mm. Super cool spot. You've either heard about it or, or you're an adventurer looking for a spot. And Punta Barica is really at the, end of the, at the end of the road, but nothing before the end of the road. It's one of the furthest points out. out out of the ocean, right? Yeah, and yeah. It really goes out. It's cool. Really worth. I tell people yeah. that are looking to, like, not surf, like people that ask, hey, where's a cool spot? I say, mm -hmm. go to Punta Barica. I mean, for diving and surfing, always, if you find a spot that's, you mm -hmm. know, like the, the, the outermost point, it's, yeah, yeah. it's always going to be. Communicate with buyers and tell them, hey, give me your coordinates, and then Google Earth, tree, and shake it really hard. It's like an apple tree been picked over, yeah. you shake it hard enough, like one you might find one that did, somebody else didn't get and it falls out. Yeah. Because you should okay, come back and shake things hard and see what deals fall out. Yeah.